Hello, my name is Patrick Dennis. I'm a pre-sales solution consultant at Synaptic Advisory Partners, and today I'm going to be showing you how we can conduct complex home health assessments on the Salesforce platform using both Field Service Lightning and Eureka. To begin, we'll start inside of Salesforce looking at a couple of different list views for both work orders and appointments, which we're going to use to house information about our home health assessments. Similarly, if we go to the Field Service Lightning Dispatcher Console, we can see this information both on the Gantt chart as well as the map, laying out all the spots where we need to go for our various home health assessments. And on the map, we can see some various information about patient information and location. If we go to the Field Service Lightning mobile application, we can see all these appointments sitting right here inside of our view, ready for us to conduct those specific assessments. So when we click in, we're able to use the quick actions at the bottom of the application and click begin health assessment. And this is gonna deep link over to the Eureka mobile application where we immediately have information about the specific person that we're assessing. So in this case, we've got Carol who has information from her contact record populating the form information here. We can make edits or make updates depending on the situation. But in any case, we're gonna capture some information about Carol and then proceed through the form to, to capture some information about her health. In this case, we'll start with her skin. So we'll suspect that there's a specific situation where she's got concerns with related to her skin. And when we select that there's a suspected concern, we'll see some information is now showing using our conditional display logic. We can show or hide questions based on answers to previous questions. And so if we say here that she has some moles that are concerning her and they're large and they're growing, we can then take photos of those spots on her skin and save them to the form record. And by doing this, we can then keep these photos inside of Salesforce when we push this information back to the system. We can make notes and mark them up, but in any case, the photo will be saved to the system for later. Now we'll collect some information about the medications she might be taking. So we'll push the plus icon. We'll look up a specific medication record that we, see in, that we have in Salesforce, indicate the dosage, and then also indicate whether or not she takes it orally or otherwise, and then move on. If she was taking another medication too, we could click the plus sign and effectively create an infinite list here, but we'll just proceed and we'll answer some questions about whether or not she has asthma or otherwise. So if we say that she suspects she has asthma, we can again show or hide other questions. So we've got a whole section here where we can collect information about asthma, but in this case, we'll hide it and we'll say that she does not have asthma. She also does not have diabetes and she does not suspect that she has depression. So we'll go to the final section on our home health assessment. We'll indicate that she does not have a prescription delivery service, and we'll quickly note down some information about the way she feels about her primary care physician. At this point, we can save the form and click View Insights. And when we do, all the data that we collected on this form will be saved and analyzed. And we can use Einstein Insights as well as Eureka Discoveries to come to some basic conclusions about the information that we just captured. And this can help drive automation inside of the system later. If we go back over to the Field Service Mobile Lightning app, we can see the rest of our appointments that we need to conduct for today. And as we do this, we can see the various statuses back inside of Salesforce of these appointments being changed. But let's say that I'm a Salesforce administrator and I need to make configurations or changes to the specific assessment that we're conducting in the field. So here I can go inside the form template section of Salesforce, make a quick copy, and then make a new version of that specific form template that we've been using for our assessment so far. We'll say it's 1.14. And here's the canvas where we're able to have all the different questions for our assessment. But let's say I need to add a question. In this case, we'll say in the skin exam portion of the assessment. And we'll say, is there any other concerns related to skin that we haven't covered so far? And we'll make this question on a free text or a long text question. And we'll only show it when we indicate here in the skin exam that there are other concerns related to skin. And so this is a way of setting up our conditional display logic inside of Eureka. So we'll click save. And then when we go back to our mobile application, and if we were to go back to Carol's home and conduct a home health assessment right here using Field Service Lightning, we'll open up the latest edition of that specific form template. So we're always able to make configurations and keep the latest data um, as relevant as possible. So here, again, when we say that, that we suspect that there are skin concerns, there's our new question that we just added to the form template now showing up inside of our assessment uh, for all of our mobile workers out there. 
we'll collect the data that she says in response to this question that she's observing a rash every now and then coming and going. So with this, this is a way for you to make configurations and tie to field service lightning with Eureka, but there's also so many other features that Eureka offers like discoveries in Einstein, barcode scanning, the whole thing works with or without internet connectivity and more. So if you have more questions about how this works, feel free to visit us at eureka.io forward slash app exchange.